Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to my channel The Nature Patch. My name is Robin and today I'm going to be sharing five plants that are really great to grow in your vegetable garden or just anywhere in your garden that are edible and that can provide a little bit of shade in your garden for summer. It's almost coming to the start of summer and um, it, particularly in a subtropical climate where we get really hot summers, it's always a good idea to have a little bit of shade in your garden. And in my garden I love to use different edible plants to get that shade because I not only get shade for different plants such as lettuce and greens that really like it but I also get something edible from the plant as well. So I'm actually going to head over right now. I've got my secateurs and grab some seeds from the first plant on the list. And the first of these five plants is pigeon pea. Now I have done quite a few videos on pigeon pea. Um, I absolutely love the plant and you will know that if you have seen some of my other videos. The reason I love it is that it can get really nice and big and bushy in a really short amount of time. It's also a nitrogen fixer, so planting it not only provides that shade, it's also putting nitrogen back into the soil um, as most legumes do. Along with that, it's a really great plant to cut and drop for mulch purposes. So I've got another video of that that I can link in the description box down below. And lastly, all of these seeds are actually edible and can be used in like soups and curries as a dal substitute and have a really nice nutty flavor, but also a really high in protein as well. So right now mine are just finishing um, flowering and their seed pods are drying out. So I've gone through and cut a lot of these seed pods and you can know when they're dry, you can start to shake them and hear the kind of rattle sound. Um, so I have gone and picked a lot of these and I'm going to be saving these seeds um, for the new place that we moved to, to provide all of the mulch and different shade uh, for the garden beds that we're putting in. The second plant on my list is the rosella bush. I don't have any of these at the moment, but I have done a few videos on the rosella plant, including how to save the seeds. You can save so many seeds just from one rosella plant. And I love growing this plant, not only because it provides that shade, but it's such a beautiful hedgerow that you can trim back to shape the hedge that you want. The leaves are edible, the flowers are edible, and the calyxes are edible as well. And that's what I use to make my rosella jam, which is my favorite jam pretty much in the entire world. And I like to put that on the western side of my garden because uh, in the afternoon when the sun sets in the west, uh, we get that really hot afternoon sun. And having a row of rosella bushes can then allow me to plant other plants on the other side on the eastern side to make sure that they get a little bit of shade in the afternoon. The next really fast growing edible plant that um, I absolutely love to grow for shade and probably is also one of my favorite things to grow is corn. So corn typically you plant it in different blocks as that's how it pollinates, pollinates through the wind. I know a lot of people do the three sisters method as well where you plant um, squash or pumpkin underneath the corn. Um, and that also provides a little bit of shade and protection for underlying crops. But because you're putting it in that kind of grid formation, it's kind of forming its own little hedge. And then on the other side is really great to plant the more shade loving plants or the ones that really don't do well in the hot afternoon sun. And then the fourth really fast growing plant is okra. This was something that I grew for the first time last year and was really surprised at how easy it was to grow in a subtropical climate. I also didn't realize how tall they get. They're basically like mini trees. They're very similar to the rosella bush, um, but they just don't get as bushy. But they do provide a little bit of a canopy um, and some shade for your other plants in the garden. So that, among with all of these other plants, is something that I'm definitely going to be planting um, as soon as we move to our new place. And this is kind of what you get from your okra after you can save the seed pods. It's kind of like a little funky seed pod that looks like this. And in here are all of the dried seeds. So I have quite a few of these that I've saved um, for the seed purposes. I haven't tried too many different types of okra, uh, but we did try the red and the green. I really liked the green okra. I can't remember which one that uh, these seed pods are, but it's definitely gonna be a surprise for me. But I really do love growing okra for a small little shady bush. And the last plant that I'm gonna include in this list, the fifth plant that I love to grow, um, for shade that is really fast growing is blueberry bushes. You have to be a little bit careful with blueberries because they do like kind of more acidic soil. So planting them in a vegetable garden around other vegetables and fruits, you just wanna make sure that the soil type is right before you plant your blueberry bush. But another way you can use um, these bushes is to just plant them in pots and move them around the garden. Um, so blueberries like full sun, but they don't like the really harsh sun. So they're great for um, around now, like in October and November, where it's not too harsh, but some of the plants do kind of struggle in the afternoon heat. I've placed some blueberry bushes around all of the pots that I have that I need to move over to our new place. And they're placed 
placed in a way that um, they block the afternoon sun for some of the other herbs and plants and little seedlings that are around them. And who doesn't love fresh blueberries for breakfast? It is so rewarding to grow blueberries in your backyard. So that was five different plants that are really fast growing and are great to provide a little bit of shade dotted around your garden if you do need so. They also produce really delicious produce as well. Um, and they're great to just position in different areas around the garden. So it's kind of a win-win situation if you are after both shade and an edible plant. All of them except um, maybe your blueberries can also be grown as annuals as well uh, if you are in a cooler environment, but you still want to have that shade in summer as well. So I really hope you found this video useful. Um, if you've got any other plants that you know grow well in a subtropical climate or anywhere around the world uh, that you use to place in different areas around your garden for shade, definitely let me know in the comments section and we can start a little bit of a discussion around there um, to kind of get some different ideas from different people. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. And until my next video, happy gardening everyone. Bye.